Hi all, it's Ziv from Elementor. Today, I'll show you how to use the mask option, which allows you to turn widgets into mask-based objects and apply shapes to them that hide parts of the content, just like I did with this image. Masks are easy to use and can be applied to any element you want, like an image, video, or Google Maps widget to create stylish designs that really make your site stand out. So let's dive in and see how it works. For this tutorial, I'll be working on this free landing page template from our library. Let's start off by dragging in a simple image widget. Then choose your image. In the Style tab, I'll go ahead and add a cool hover animation, just to bring it to life a bit. Okay, looks alright, but it's a bit plain and doesn't really fit in with the rest of the design. Turning it into a shape by applying a mask to it will certainly make it stand out. You can find the mask option in the Advanced tab of any widget. Simply click to toggle it on. By default, the shape is set to Circle, which actually fits well here. But you can also choose other shapes from the list, such as a flower, or this blob for example. And if you want to create an even more customized design, there's also an option to upload your own custom SVG or PNG mask shapes, which is what I'll do for this example. I'll use an SVG file I specifically created for this design, so it fits in nicely next to the title. Next, you can set the size of the mask. These options allow you to specify how the mask should be resized to fit its container. By default, it's set to fit, which makes sure the mask fits exactly inside the border of the widget, while maintaining its aspect ratio. Setting it to fill stretches the mask, so it takes up as much space as possible, regardless of the aspect ratio. Alternatively, you can click on Custom to set a specific size. You can either use the Scale slider, or enter a precise value to get the result you're looking for. Once the size of the mask is set, you can choose the position of the mask that best fits your design. You can also set the mask to repeat itself in a variety of ways. Just play around with the controls to see what works. For this design, I'll disable the repeat and set the size to fit. The cool thing is that these settings have device icons, meaning they can be tweaked specifically for tablet and mobile devices. For example, on mobile devices, I can set the position of the mask to center left, so it's aligned with the rest of the content. Cool. Now you know how to apply masks in Elementor and use them to really make your design stand out. Apply them to video widgets and create unique visuals that bring your websites to life or create a custom mask like this smartphone mockup and apply it to an image carousel widget. There are so many ways to play around with masks, so we are really looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Let your imagination go wild and don't be shy to share your creations in the comments below. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tricks. Ciao for now.